Hi everybody, this is Maya Good, and I'm here to do a review of the Uni Jetstream pens. As you know, if you follow this channel, I use a fountain pen almost exclusively. Uh, pretty much I only use a non-fountain pen if I am addressing a box, if I am writing something really quickly in my Hobonichi and I don't want to reach into my pen holder to grab one of my fountain pens, or if I'm editing a manuscript. When I mark up my revisions, I find it helpful to have more than one color. And originally I was marking them up with two fountain pens and it was just a pain. It slowed me down. Having to uncap and recap the pen was really slowing me down for my revision marking. Uh, and so I started using these when I was revising my uh, short stories last spring. I'd gotten this one, I'd gotten this Hobonichi uni jet stream pen with my Hobonichi journal. I originally thought I was going to toss it, but I kept seeing all these reviews that people thinking that it was going to be junk and then being surprised at how good of a pen it was. So I was, before I tossed it, I just flipped it and tried to write something just out of curiosity. And I was shocked. It is so smooth and it is nice and fine. And I write with an extremely fine pen, but I like a really smooth pen and those things tend to be diametrically opposed to one another. So I was really shocked. Before this, if I needed a, a ballpoint pen for something, I would go to a um, V something, I can't remember, or a G2. And both of them I loved, but occasionally when it was cold or if I was writing really quickly, they would skip slightly. Um, but those were the pens that were the smoothest and the finest. Uh, there was a couple others that I liked, but at the smaller end of the spectrum, they weren't as smooth. This is the smoothest of the super fine pens I've ever used. Even the .5 is actually pretty smooth. I prefer the .38, but I'm using up all my .5 ink before I go down. But um, the ink on these is smooth. It doesn't take any pressure. So if you're used to writing with fountain pens, the big difference between a fountain pen and a ballpoint pen is ballpoint pens are very tiring for your hands because you're having to press to make the ink go. And while the Jetstream technically is a ballpoint pen, it's not um, like a gel pen or whatever. I think it might have oil in the ink or something. Um, while it technically is a ballpoint pen, I can write with these with no pressure. And so they're very comfortable for me um, to write with if I absolutely need to. The problem with this particular one, this is the one I got, it's a 2005 Hobonichi Checkcho edition, is when I was writing, I was constantly having this part slide down, which was a pain. So I would be writing and then all of a sudden this would start to slide down. The other problem with it, which I found was really odd because it came with my Hobonichi, is the grip here made it hard sometimes to get it into the second loop. And I would have to press. And then when I take it out, the grip would come off. See that? And that was annoying. And so I was like, well, maybe I just won't use it that way. And so I started just carrying it like this, which was fine. But I like the pen. I just, I figured, well, I like this pen and it's not going to fit in there, but at least maybe I can get one that is a little bit higher quality so that the grip doesn't come off because this is obviously the lower end of this brand of pen. So I went from this pen, which is three inks, it's got red, blue, and black, to this one. It's a little bit heavier, it has more than one ink, and it has a pencil. And this was my, oh my goodness, I can't use a fountain pen pen for about six months. This one has red, green, blue, and black, although I've never been able to get the green to write appropriately. I've tried soaking it in hot water. If anybody knows how to get the green ink, to not skip and to write properly, um, leave a message in the down bar because I actually like this color a lot and I'll show you what I'm gonna be working with in the future, but I would like to use up that ink. It has a pencil sharpener under the hood and it's nice. This part does not come off. I mean, I can force it, but it doesn't come off on its own when I'm writing. The problem is it's really thick. It is not comfortable for me to write with. I can make a note but literally, if I have to write more than two sentences, my hand starts to cramp up and I get the same feeling I get when I use a regular ballpoint pen, only this time, instead of it being because I'm pressing, this time it's because I have to grip it so hard because it's so thick. So I picked up this pen from Jet Pens. This is the Uni Jetstream F, F series. And the F series is supposed to be a little fancier, a little smoother, a little more sophisticated looking. 
um, I pulled it out and immediately fell in love with it. The ink felt a little different, so I switched out the cartridge. No big deal. I think maybe it was just sitting too long in a warehouse. The first thing I like is it goes right into my Hobonichi with no problem. Um, I no longer have to push it past the grip section. It just goes right in and out. It's smooth. That's the first thing I like about it. It's also thinner. Uh, one thing I noticed is that I really, I have all these colors, but I really only use three. Um, I use the pencil very occasionally, and then I use um, whatever to whatever color I pretty much grab first, and then the red. So I use red and then whatever else I happen to push. And so I don't need all these colors. You know, I can use blue, I can use black, I can use green, I can use any other color, and then a red <laughs> is what I'm trying to get at. So I didn't need all these colors. Um, I hardly ever use the eraser. I just find that it's just kind of, it's not something I do. If I'm writing something with a pencil, I tend to just cross it out. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad. But I don't write that often with a pencil, so I don't really have to erase a lot of stuff. Usually it's if I'm making a list or something, I'm crossing it out as I'm getting through the list. So, you know, it's more there for like a small note and a margin or something. Or if I am writing in the marginalia of a book and I want to like color code in some way and I've already used two colors. So there's that. I really like this pen. Um, this one, instead of having the clicker, and I like the clicker, but it's addicting, and when I'm podcasting sometimes, I will find myself starting to do that, and then um, my co-host hates me, and so I can't have my pen on my desk when I'm podcasting, and this one, instead of clicking, you twist. So let me see if I can get this to, there you go, now it's focusing. So I twist this. There's the black, and literally it's wherever the clip is, is is what ink. So it's pointing at the black, it's gonna be black ink. Point it at the red, it's gonna be red ink. Point it at the star, and that is my pencil, and then press down to make it feed the lead, and then press and push to get rid of the lead. I really like it, but most importantly, it's much more comfortable. It's thinner. Um, it's much slimmer and so I no longer get that cramping, but it still has a nice smooth ink. I did have to change out one of the ink cartridges because it wasn't as smooth as the others, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this and before I take all the inks out of here and put them in storage to switch in and out of this new pen. So let me just show you me writing. I'm going to use the notebook that I don't use very often. I just don't use this one. Y'all know why. And so let me see here. Let me get a nice fresh page. This has become my junk all notebook. So here is the blue one. Blue ink. Let me write something. Hello. It's really smooth. The ink is really smooth. My problem is my hand is not comfortable holding this pen. I'm going to show you the green ink, the issue I'm having with the green ink. I'm not sure if this is going to show up on camera, but I'll try. So if I'm writing with the green ink, it skips. See there? Whoa. Is it going to, is it going to focus? It like, it comes out really light and it doesn't write properly. It skips unless I press, and I refuse to press on my pencil and my pen, so I don't use that ink. If anybody knows how to fix the ink on these cartridges, if you get one that's been in the cold storage too long, I'd appreciate it, because I've got a full cartridge, and I love the color, I just can't get it to work properly. But all the other colors are extremely smooth. They're really easy to pull in and out. These are not like um, the clutch, I can't remember, the pens that have this in the back. So if I switch out a color, I can't change the color that's actually, that I'm pressing. I just have to remember what color it is. But um, they come out really easy. They go in really easy. To open this up, I just hold it, unscrew it, 
And then again, I can just pull the ink out and push it in. Now these all have the same ink brand, so they're all super smooth, but I'll show you the difference in how I hold this one. You know, even this one is too big for me. I mean, it's more doable. But if you look, my fingers are further apart. I have to grip it. Um, my lower hand tends to tighten up in order to brace it more. It's just not as comfortable. My hand just naturally tightens up around these thicker pens. Whereas when I hold this one, you'll notice my hand is a lot more relaxed. See, it's just a lot more relaxed. My hand moves across the page better. And so, Two things, if you have found that you really like these Uni Jetstream pens but you find that you're not using them because your hand is cramping up or you're having to press or it's not very comfortable, there are other options for this particular brand of pen. And I think that this is a really good brand. This brand is the F series, I call it the F series because it's quote unquote feminine. Um, but it does come in black, I think the black looks perfectly masculine enough. But there's also several other styles of the Uni Jetstream pens that are thinner. And the difference between the two ink and one um, lead versus the three ink is, I mean, that is a significant w width difference. Like when I look at those two pens, that is significant. And so if you've got a hand that's cramping up, you may want to try a thinner pen. I know a lot of people say that if your hand cramps up, try a bigger pen for like arthritis and stuff. But sometimes a bigger pen can cause more problems. So also you might want to check out a thinner pen as well. I'm really enjoying this pen. I like it a great deal. I'm going to go ahead and pull the let, pull the inks out of my other um, two pens and save the inks and toss the bodies and recycle the plastic parts and call it a day. And on that note, that is my review. Ciao.